Well, welcome back, YouTube Pipe Smokers. This is Spurgeon Piper, and I am joining you in the afternoon. I have some downtime uh, to get in a video with a tobacco review, and today we are reviewing Rat Rays Marlin Flake. Uh, this is one I'm excited to review, so I'm kind of get already giving you my uh, the inside of my opinion of it. I'll tell you today, I've been smoking it nonstop. Um, I say nonstop. I smoke it several times now today in my Peterson 2019 Christmas pipe, 68 style or model. I, I love this pipe. I, uh, I think you can still find some around. Uh, even on maybe smoking pipes. I'm not sure if they have any of the 2019. I think they have 2018 available, but nonetheless, just it's a great pipe. I really enjoy it. Um, I was hesitant on reviewing any more rat race uh, before trying this. I just figured that, and I mentioned this in my Hello the Wind, or no, Old Gallery video. Uh, Old Gallery is a, is a softer version of, Overall, there's there's more distinction, but softer version than, uh, or a softer version of Hello the Wind. Um, and, and I mentioned in that video of, of that review that I wasn't going to review Hello the Wind just itself because it's it's similar enough, it's higher in Perique, uh, not something I would go to very often at all. And though this is technically a a vapor blend, Virginia pre blend, it is distinct. It is distinct. So that's what I want to get to uh, get to today. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. That way I'm not not trying to constantly relight it because that's frustrating. All right, I'm going to put this over here. So I'll give you some information on this. This is a rat race blend. Uh, it is produced, one second, let me, I'm about to knock out some tobacco here. Let me get my notes up real quick. All right. So Marlin Flake is a dark Virginia blend flake uh, with, with black Cavendish as well as a hint of Perique or a pinch of Perique as they say. Um, it is a, a companion to the old gallery blend. Um, uh, it's a shade darker, darker uh, Virginia leaf. Uh, it has a different, a different aroma than old gallery does. Um, it, it's definitely more fermented and more darker fruits. And so I want to try to show you guys this uh, best way I can without making a horrible mess. Uh, it comes in a flake. Now that's starting to break apart, but I'll let you know that uh, it came comes at a pretty solid form flake, and it's a it's a ribbon flake, meaning um, you can stretch it all the way out. It stretches out wide, and which is kind of cool. I thought it was a little neat. My boys did too. Uh, they always like to look at what tobacco I have, and and so uh, that's that's uh, what it looks like. Um, it is a it's a nice looking flake, a dark looking flake. Uh, if you didn't know better, you may have thought this was a, uh, a it, it contains a burly or something like that, but uh, but it's it's a nice looking dark dark smelling flake. And sure enough, I make a mess of it. Um, can give you some a little bit of background on it just quickly. Don't want to take too much time on this, but uh, TobaccoReviews.com they they let you know that uh, its its contents is Perique. Virginia Black Cavendish. It is. Uh, it comes in different packaging: 50 gram tin, 100 gram tin, which is what I have is 100 gram tin. Uh, and I don't know if it's currently available. I should have checked on that before making this video. But uh, SmokingPipes.com uh, has has had it. I got this from Country Squire, along with my other Rat Race blends. I think it's out of stock now because. They don't really last around. At least the big, there's three or four big names of Rat Ray blends that uh, they don't really stay around too long because they're popular for good reason. They're quality. You can just taste quality in them. Whether you like a vapor blend or not, or an English blend, 
I, I think you could just taste the quality there, in my opinion. Uh, and so I don't think it's available, unfortunately. Uh, strength is listed on tobaccoreviews.com as medium, uh, no, no flavor detected, medium taste, and Rue Note is pleasant to tolerable. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and let you know what I think of it. Get Light it right back up. I am almost done with this bowl, by the way. Uh, man, I just I just can't put it down. Uh, it's been great. So it is indeed a darker Virginia. Uh, it, it's it compared, especially to the. Uh, to the Virginia and the Old Gallery, Hello to Wind Blends, um, it, it, it no doubt is a darker, um, sweeter Virginia. It's more tangy. Uh, it's, it's more uh, fruity, a little bit of earthy. And, and that's what usually, oh, excuse me, sorry about that. That's what usually stoked Virginias offer you uh, compared to your brighter, your red Virginias, orange Virginias. Um, they're they're going to be a little bit more uh, earthy, woody, and, and a dark fruit. Um, if, you know, as you slowly get more and more used to those blends, you, you can kind of get that distinction. There is, you can tell this in the blend or in the, in the flake, and you can tell it a little bit in the, in the smoke. Uh, there is a, a some light Virginia there. Um, it plays a very minor role. Um, it's a little, a little bit of tartness, um, a little bit of hay. Now maybe I can sense a little bit of a, a brown sugariness from the black Cavendish, but I think its its main role is that it really shaves off the sharpness that a lot of times Virginia blends have. Um, it's, it's quite a smooth blend. It's, it's, it's quite cooler because of the Cavendish. So I'm not a huge Cavendish guy. I, I just, a lot of blends that I find them in, I don't care for. Uh, I think it suits this very well. Um, uh, especially if you like a softer Perique and I have grown to like softer Periques, um, compared to say the, uh, the, the red Virginia, uh, that, uh, smoking pipes came out with with a uh, perique with St. James perique. That is a a heavy perique blend, and it's pretty sharp. It's it's uh, it's it's going to be sensitive to, or it's going to it's going to be prone to causing some tongue bites. It's going to be hot. Uh, however, this the black ham dish really helps with that. Um, so this is really similar. I think this is why I gravitate gravitate to this. Um, as I mentioned before, I've kind of grown shorter and shorter on the amount of blends I like to smoke because I know what I like. Uh, this one reminds me of Stonehenge Flake. Um, it reminds me of my university flake, uh, the Peterson University Flake, two flakes I love. Uh, why? They're not. It's not. It doesn't have burly, uh, but the uh, it, it's just a darker flavor, and it's it's not as sharp. It's uh, and it's not really much of a vapor. So Stonehenge Flake is technically a vapor. Stonehenge Flake has Perique, but just like it, uh, it's very minute. Uh, the Perique in there is a little evident. You get some of the plum uh, plum um, character of a Perique. It's a little spicy, just a hair, uh, but it's it's quite low. And so I don't even I'd hardly call this a vapor. And that's on a shot against it. Um, in fact, I like that about it. Uh, so if you're wanting a really solid, strong vapor blend, this is not for you. This is, uh, you, you're not going to get that. Um, but it is an absolutely enjoyable blend. Nicotine wise, you guys know, or I've mentioned before, I am a nicotine whip. I can't take much of it. I can smoke this back to back, no problems whatsoever. Um, and so it is maybe just a tad above mild, a, a tad above mild. So uh, morning blend, excellent. Uh, I would even consider this, and I'll probably add into a later video for beginner blenders or beginner beginner blends. I would say this is a beginner blend. Um, I think it can be mishandled a little bit, and 
it can take the hit. It can take the punch of that and uh, and the abuse of those who aren't really getting down the uh, their smoking rhythm so well. Uh, so I think this is a solid recommendation for newer pipe smokers if they can get their hands on it, of course. Um, I'm trying to think of what else what else to say about it. I'm about done. Mm. It is a it is a fantastic blend. By the way, I don't have much age on it. It's about three months old, a uh, couple months old. It just burns cool. It burns clean. Um, it's one of my top now. I'll go ahead and let you know my score. I give them score ratings out of 10. It is at 8.5 at least. Right now on tobaccoreviews.com, I have it as an 8.5. It, it could be a 9. It could be a 9 for me. That's how high I like it or how much I like it. It, it does remind me of Peterson's Elizabethan mixture a bit. There's some similarities. I would put this over Peterson Elizabethan mixture if only, if only, I would really have to sit down and compare it more, but if only because it's in flake form. I love flake form. It's my favorite form of tobacco. I like how long it will last in your bowl. Um, I, I like the, uh, the duration to be able to sit there and not have to relight or, or not relight, but re, repack a bowl. And because I often have time to sit down for a long period of time. That itself puts it, gives it extra marks. I haven't found a lot of flake form tobaccos that, um, that I care for that are lighter like this. The, uh, the 2020 um, smoking pipes editions that they came out with earlier this year, uh, or the 20th anniversary, I'm sorry, the 20th anniversary blends they came out with this year, there was two, ver uh, Perique blends, they're really great, uh, but uh, because they are not around anymore and they're a little bit hotter, they're not as dark, I I don't smoke them as, as often. There's no point for me relighting this, it's it's done. Um, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else to say about it. Uh, man, guys, it's a it's a great blend. I uh, I. Only reason I won't have it in my rotation is because I only, it's the one I only bought one of. So I bought about four different rat race blends. And this is the one I only bought one of. Um, and, and that's a shame. I don't know when it will come back in stock. They usually restock maybe once or twice a year, it seems. And so maybe at the end of the year, it'll be available. Uh, so I'm going to try to be a little slower on this one. But let's just say if I had an excellent stock of it, like I do some other blends, I would keep this in my rotation. Um, it's, it's, it's become quickly a, a winner. So I uh, think that's all I have to say on it. By the way, I have two of my pipes sold that I uh, put up this, this week. The, get the names right, the Lorenzo Spitfire is sold. And uh, the Algerian... I forgot the name of it. I can tell you the one that is available. I can say that. Uh, the one that's available is the non no named one that has that green band. So if you're so interested in a pipe, that one as of today, it is Wednesday at six o'clock in the evening. That one is still available. So let me know if you want it. Um, I, I don't know how much longer it'll last. So guys, if you have questions, comments, remarks, let me know. I think next week I'll do my Q and A video. I've had a lot of comment or questions come in so i'm going to go ahead and talk tackle those and, and try to get them taken care of uh, so i hope you guys are great with rest of your week uh, hope you're doing well you're staying safe all those good things and until next time we'll talk to you later